I completely forgot what with all the various bits of work we've been doing to do my Delilah for June. Um, I actually did her a couple of weeks ago, dressed her all up and everything. Um, and the purpose of this video is to talk about offence and how um, some people may be offended, but no offence is deliberately intended here. In fact, this is a discussion piece, really, and the discussion should be over which particular part of Delilah are people offended by. Superficially, it might be that there's a ladder in her dress. Or it might be that her dress is see-through. Those, those are two initial things. It might be these nipples here. Look at these. People might be offended by those nipples. Or they might be offended by the fact that there are nipple clips thinking that they're actually on the nipples. They might be offended just by the nipple clips. Just the sight of the nipple clips. They might be offended by the pony girl headset. That's a particular fetish type of fetish where girls like to be treated as ponies. And this is a rubber gag that would go in the mouth very much like a horse's bridle. And this whole thing is, is, is constructed as a bridle, including the, I don't know, I don't do horsey things. People might be offended by that. It might be offensive to some that she's got a locked collar, metal collar around her neck. Or, similarly, that there's a ball gag around her neck. There might be offence caused by the fact that there's a very basic shibari tie. Shibari is kind of erotic rope work. Um, and it's a, a Japanese thing mainly, but it's very popular in the UK. They may be offended by the fact that she hasn't got any footwear or the fact that she's wearing a chastity belt. They may even be offended by the fact that she's got a rasta bracelet with a marijuana leaf on. Now all of those individual factors could be offensive for someone but unless you can clearly define why then it's fairly invalid because there's plenty of things that I see people smoking with children present. I find that more offensive than a mannequin with some stick on nipples. I find people swearing in front of children more offensive. So there's lots of things I find offensive. But if anyone finds any of this offensive, I'm, I'm good to talk about it because we have to talk about it and we have to talk about why you might be offended. And we need to talk about why you might be offended because it's to do with sex, sexuality. And you might say this is abusive. I might say this is a part of a sexual subculture, a genre where people consent to all of this. I know girls who love wearing this kind of stuff. They wouldn't wear sunglasses with it. That's purely because Delilah hasn't got any proper eyes. I know people who love wearing a ball gag. The symbolism of being collared, being owned, is something which is highly desirable to some people. The pleasure pain thing is, 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 is very, very powerful. It's a psychological and physical link. And the neuro, neuropathic signals that go to the brain for pleasure and pain are exactly the same. It's all interpretation. So we can turn pain into pleasure. Shibari rope work, Shibari rope work is a, an accepted art form in its own right. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about why some women would like to be tied up. The whole thing about chastity. I have, I have a whole lecture which I do on chastity, especially female chastity. Let's talk about chastity. Let's talk about the sexual images and the perceived control. In actual fact, chastity bells weren't actually put on women by men to go off on the Crusades. Think about it. You're leaving your woman in charge of all your valuable chattels. She could very easily have a chastity belt removed, sell all your chattels and fuck off. You looked after your woman. Chastity belts were put on women by the woman who was wearing them 
as a protection against being raped. There's all of these things that we could talk about. We can talk about marijuana. We can talk about why it's perhaps offensive to have marijuana linked with the African colours of the African of the of the Jamaican flag. We could talk about that. There's all sorts of things you could talk about related to the way Delilah is dressed this month. Let's do it. Let's learn to talk about sex. It's important even more so now, even more important than it's ever been before now, that we learn to talk about sex, especially as our children aren't actually in school. Because I'll leave you with this one thought. If you feel uncomfortable about talking about sex, if you feel uncomfortable talking to your children about sex, if you don't talk to and educate your children about sex and relationships, you know what? The internet will do it for you. And that should offend you far, far more than anything that our beautiful Delilah is wearing this month. So, let's talk about it. And girls, yes, I do demonstrations. Feel free, drop me a line, pop round. Sorry, one comment too far. <laughs>